Hey everyone and welcome to this tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how you can select items in your inventory. So here's the preview. I press I and as you can see I can select every item in this inventory. When I go to weapon you can see this one will reset. So let's get started. Open your inventory project, go to the inventory widgets and open the item slot. Inside here, click on the button and on the unclicked. First thing here, we want to have a set active function. And inside here, we want to set a boolean, which is, is active to true. So set this one to true. And then we want to set the color of this border. So make this border background, for example, make it a variable and then get this in here. And we want to set the brush. And for the brush in, we want to have a variable and promote it to a variable called this active border color. And then let's copy the current brush and then let's paste it into the active one like this and then let's duplicate this one and this will be our normal border color so for the normal we don't have to change anything this will be the normal blue and for the active we can change the border color here to something you like i will pick this compile and save and that is everything we have to do here then we want to connect those and now we want to test this so pick some items up press i and now as you can see i click on it it will be selected now let's work on deselecting the other items for that i want to use a blueprint interface so go here to your content browser search for blueprint interface and we call this bi underscore inventory open this up and inside here we want to slot clicked and we want to give in slot in so we give the slot in from the item slot to the inventory and the interface helps us to minimize the casts we need so yeah let's search here for slot and we should have wb item slot like this so before we can get this event here we first need to go to the inventory and inside this inventory when we create our slots so this will be here we want to give a reference from the inventory to it so let's create a new inventory ref change it to wb underscore inventory And then we want to set the uh, interface to both of them. So go to the class defaults and under story class settings and under interface, we can search for our interface like this, compile and save. Do the same for the item slot. Here under this one compile and save and then we want to expose our inventory on spawn and we also need to make it instance editable so now we can refresh our notes and we can parse a self-reference uh, self into it don't forget to do it here reference to self so what we can now do from this one here is we can all our slot clicked 
sorry not this one not clicked this one here so we have this blue pin and the slot in will be a reference to self like this so when we click we set active and we give an information to the inventory which button was clicked now we want to receive this event so search for slot clicked this event and this will always fire when we click on this one here from the slot in we want to promote this to a variable this will be our last clicked slot and before we set him we want to check if it's valid so if this one is valid then we want to do some things so get a branch and what we want to do here is now we want to check if our last clicked slot is not equal to our slot that is coming in so if they are not equal we want to reset the last clicked slot so for this we go back to the inventory and we make a variable set normal uh, sorry a function and here we want to set the is active to false and then we can copy from the set active the brush we go back to the normal and here we change the active border color to the normal border color So go back to your inventory and now from the last click slot when they are not equal we want to set the last click slot to normal again so search for this function set it to normal and then from this one we want to set true and from the is not valid if the last click slot is not valid we anyway want to set it to the new clicked one so this will be the first time and that's it. So compile, save, play, pick up some items, press I, and now as you can see, I can select multi items here and the other one gets deselected again. One thing we can do here is when we click on our filters, we want to uh, reset our last clicked slot so what we should do here is we create a function we set selected item like so and what we do here is we get the last click slot we check always if it's valid so we don't get any errors and if it's valid we want to set the normal and then we want to set the last click slot to nothing. Go back to the event graph. We can now put this into our set clicked menu item, but I prefer to put it in here. So we all, uh, sorry, not this one. Uh, so we always see what we're doing uh, at first glance. So in And now let's work on the hover. Go back to your item slot. Inside here, let's uh, duplicate the normal border color and let's call it hover border color. And scroll down or first compile. Click on the hover border color and you can go with a darker or a lighter color. I would go with this lighter color. Go back to the event graph. Go back to the designer. Click on the button. And here let's get the hovered. And on unhovered. And check is active. If it's not active. a branch and 
if this is true we want to set the border background to the hovered and then copy everything and on unhovered when it's not a deactive button we want to set it back to normal play and pick some items up press i and see we have this hover effect and when we click we have the item selected that's it for this tutorial and the next tutorial we will use this to actually drop our selected items so have a nice day and see you soon bye